Max Brenner, and it'll probably be the last one because yeah. This Talk one? to us. So the place where you either take your first date, or this is the place where you get your heart broken. <laughs> your <laughs> last movies? date. No, the place, Max Brenner. Oh. Because <laughs> ideally, like, you know, if you're going to go on a date, after you do a nice dinner, you want to take your date, you know, it's somewhere nice and sweet, probably, uh, you know, have some hot chocolates. Waffles. Mm, waffles. waffles. Quaff. Some mm-hmm. waffles. Has anyone tried the Nutella pizza? That's just gross. <laughs> in ter- gross? What? In terms of, like, sugar content. Oh, it's great. Mm. The amount, yeah. Have you ever had the salted caramel milkshake? Oh yeah, they're pretty good. They're great. I think I've only ever gotten the hot chocolate, and it was I got one sip into it, and I was like, "Nah, mm. can't handle it." Mm. Do you ever wish we could go back to non-salted caramel? No. Yes. Non-salted. Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, it's, I don't like caramel. It's all I didn't like caramel before they days. put the salt in. And I'm, I'm of the, like I'm of the opinion that they're probably the same thing. That's just the hipsters relabeling everything. But anyway, go on. No. Are you saying there's not actually <laughs> salt in it? I'd like to do a taste test of salt and <laughs> it's salt and definitely caramel. actually salt in it. It's, been, ba- it's honestly been years since is? I've actually had a caramel thing, so <laughs> I, I can't tell. What's the? There's a chocolate bar that has caramel in it. That's what? different. Mars? Caramello. Oh, caramel. That's caramel salted though. Caramello, cool. Is it? Wada. That's all a bit salted. Is it? Yeah, yes. you can tell. Anyways, <laughs> go, going back to <laughs> Max Brenner. About salted caramel. <laughs> so not a caramel there's a, num- there's a number of reasons why, you know, uh, Max Brenner is currently in voluntary administration. Some people say it's due to polis- uh, politics with their ties with Israel. Others mm. are really? saying... I didn't know they even had ties with Israel. That's uh, because Max Brenner started. Yeah. Because there were two um, Israeli guys that st- uh, founded the company. Mm. I don't really know the names, but one other reason is due to our changing food habits and this also new age of having sugar-free, fat-free gluten-free so is it our fault or particularly this generation's fault of becoming very health conscious that other luxurious you know sweet brands have to suffer surely people weren't going here that often of course not no that that's your a, diet that's a, would stop you from going there. it's a luxury like you know yeah item. i don't think it's that at all i think I it's just think so. a badly run company yeah because Tele, it, tele balls is opening everywhere and they're killing it and it's pretty much the same thing. Do you think terrible. that's going to be a fad and then five years later everyone's over I tele balls? Because Max Brenner was a fad and now it's None over. of these things last that long. Like they, they were in fifty million dollars of debt last year, which basically means they went through an expansion phase because everyone was like, "Oh, we love Max Brenner." And it cost like millions of dollars to fit out every shop, so they expanded really quickly and then the s- demand for it collapses because part of the attraction of going to a place that's really nice is that there's not that many of them, right? Like, it started off as, like, there's one shop in the city, and you go to that, and it's a big deal, because it's a nice place. But if you go to Max Brenner and bloody West Point in Blacktown, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. suddenly <laughs> lost some of its, like... I don't get what you're appealing to, then. Because it's not special anymore. Well, mm. to me, it's that, and what new product can you think that they've brought out in the past five years? Have you ever seen Max Brenner actually advertising anywhere? It's like they weren't even putting any effort in. They were just mm. kind of coasting, which is classic business blunder of how things go wrong, right? Well, you and I are definitely not the people to talk about because we both don't really like desserts and sweet stuff. Right. But like, I'd imagine, like, do you guys, were you guys big Max Brenner fans? And their coffee sucked too. Which I, no. <laughs> uh, my friends were all like into it and I was like, what's this Max Brenner? But it's like anyone actually, is it something that you're into? Like, is it something no, you go I'm, to regularly? I, mean, like, or I think like once a month? Maybe like, I don't even know how many years ago, but we used to like go out regularly. I don't go out anymore. Um, <laughs> I don't. And, but it was like, oh, let's go to Max Brenner. Yeah. Like, you know, you'd go like, out with the girls or whatever. Yeah. But but we're, we're not doing that every week. Yeah. That okay. was like, Wasn't it really pricey? It's quite. Yeah, it's oh, it's pretty pricey. Yeah. Hmm. And all the places are really big and they're always empty. Except the West Point one, actually. That one's always really? pumping. <laughs> now that the one the at Alexandria <laughs> is always empty. There's yeah. never anyone in there. We work next to the head office. It's, mm. it's crazy. Isn't it because, like, particularly in Alexandria, it's just due to that location that there's other, you know, better places that to serve hot chocolate? 
Well, technically, the other great cafe in the street just closed down as well. Oh, right. Oh. And that and that. They were both a... great cafes, though. Quotation marks. Excuse me. When you say what? cafe, are you talking about like this juggernaut franchise, like no. you know, Starbucks or? No, no. The one next door is called Clean Treats. All oh, right. And so it was all like vegan, healthy um, cafe. Yeah. And they shut down. And so they shut down after probably there, a year of being there. But the food there. sucked. <laughs> yeah, but the and it was vegan, food. and it cost And it was the most beautiful cafe in Sydney, according food, to BuzzFeed. If the, food, if the food sucked, it's, it's not going to happen. So it didn't. Plus, it, it was you vegan. Obviously, <laughs> do not understand how beautiful this place was. I it was like don't. the blogger scene. It's because Instagram's free, but when they charge you thirty dollars for a salad that's average, you're not going to come back. <laughs> we used point. to go back all the time. That's because we worked ten meters okay. from it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell you as well. Sumo salad, they um, were looking for investors because they're about to go under. Yeah. So it's not all about this whole sugar free. I think it's just hard out there in the market. Mm. That's, that's, that that's, that's, that's always been a thing, though, right? Yeah. That's, that's just how business works. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't matter like if you're that... full of sugar or if you're a salad company. So you're saying basically if you're a niche in the market, so if the example you gave was just sumo salads, they just basically serve salads. And probably healthy so, sandwiches. <laughs> so they have now pivoted into, they're going to supermarkets now. They're looking at partnering with fitness brands. So unless you keep expanding and you keep bringing out new products and you keep doing, you know, new stuff, you're going to go into voluntary administration. Are we just not going to places now because we like them anymore? <laughs> it mm-hmm. feels like everything's like, it has to be in your face and be doing something. It's like, I think it's just a saturation just go somewhere of the market. Because you're like, I like this place, so I'm going to keep going to this thing. Mm, but do you get bored of going to the same place, and you think I'm going to try something? Well, else? a good place will like mix it up a little bit, but like not in the sense of like you're right. They're targeting a niche, right? It's mm. Like this is the place you go for really great chocolate stuff. But when you target a niche, and then that niche niche cause can close very easily because everyone gets bored and goes to yeah. something else. It's mm. not special anymore. I'm going to go somewhere else. Um. I don't know. Is are we? Is that our fault? <laughs> is it the way we go to places? That's what I mean. It's like, well, do I we not we, have we, just like we are always time? chasing the new fad? I think. Yeah, like is that? Yeah. Oh, is that had just always been the case, and things just. I think it's more now. More now. Yeah. Well, okay. Lint Lint Cafe is an example. Okay. I assume they're doing all right. There's not many of them, right? I think Sydney. there's only a few in the city, isn't there? Yeah, like one or two, right? So mm. if you went to one from here or from most of sydney that would be an effort yes there's and one it, next to costco just saying Advanced i think Park. it's a supplier as well like it's like an actual factory uh for yeah, the chocolates place, not for the cafe like you buy the... i think it's both is it yeah. yeah okay well i know i just feel like some niches they have to be small as soon as it expands it's going to destroy itself yeah and I, I think so i think if you uh i think how how people think in business is obviously to expand so you think Let's just put as many things everywhere, hmm. um, and, you know, because we want to capitalize on it. But when you say, like, say, like the Gillian like shop. Like donut time. Yeah. Yeah. Or Masters. Well, like, think think about some of the, some of the brands. Um, Gloria Jeans is struggling at the moment. Uh, I think uh, yes, they're, they're struggling. Starbucks expanded hugely into Australia. Yeah. And then because it wasn't exclusive anymore, people didn't go. Still one next to Costco. Because coffee is saying. crap. Oh my gosh, stop <laughs> talking about Costco. Um, that Master Park shopping centre is the best shopping centre in Australia. The burger place there is the same. And Costco yeah. is actually expanding. There's a new store opening up, what, down in the southwest soon? 2020? Is Costco's There's different to There's already one in the southwest. <laughs> oh. Just because like, you go there for your shopping, right? You have to shop every week. It's a staple. Whereas all these niche things are like, you're going there because it's special. Well, if it's not right. special anymore, you're not going to go. Yeah. Not gonna, if people but, want to Instagram yeah, all their crap, they're not going to Instagram 100%. Max Brenner anymore. Nick Koo says, it's def- I think it's definitely more of a health conscious thing. People automatically flag chocolate as unhealthy. <laughs> what about uh, the sumo salad? Gloria Jean's suffering is because coffee sucks, he says. Their coffee all, sucks. Coffee has always sucked, though, and they seem to do fine before. And And he also said sumo salad had a health scare because of salmonella. Yes, they did. Uh, yeah. See, that's going to hurt you if you're a health brand and you have a health scare. <laughs> yes. The problem with sumo salad is that... Salmonella. No, that's one problem. <laughs> you don't make friends with salad? In, um, make food friends with salmonella. <laughs> food, huh? They're only in food courts. Yeah. So you pretty much are only catching people who go to food courts and most of those people are probably going to go 
Like they're not they're not going to the food court because sumo salad is in the food court. They're going to the food court because they're hungry and they're at the shops and they're like, oh, sumo salad. Uh, I feel, yeah, isn't that a know. lot of people though? People at the shops eating food. You food court's so? always pretty busy. Mm, Our silver one's know. pretty busy. The sumo salad's pretty good. I've I seen remember. sumo salad. They look. Oh, I haven't been seeing one lately, but I thought they looked pretty busy for what they are. Like maybe costs are going up as well, right? Yeah. Um, Could that be a factor? Yeah, totally. Jared, you said, did you want to play a game in this topic? Was that what it was? What? Well, actually, in the link, I don't know if you could bring it up. They had, um, while I was researching um, the whole Max Brennan saga, I came across this article regarding the 90s and what's in your lunchbox. And it got me thinking. I was like, oh, in this day and age, everything's gluten-free, fat-free, low-carb. Whereas, you know, the Maggie Noodles, the Burger, Burger Man, Man, the Roll Ups. So I was just hoping oh, during. Dunkaroos. So I was just hoping during this time, <laughs> just made my whatever gone. time we have left, <laughs> we could just go around and say, oh, we Mammy had that for noodles. our lunch. We had that in our lunchbox. Man, we were pretty unhealthy. I did box, not right? have. Everything was processed crackers. and we didn't oh, even think about beans? it. I had yes. these every single bloody time. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I had the Le Snacks. Yes, the Snacks. Tiny yeah. Teddies. Yeah. Dunkaroos, Dunkaroos were a bit out of my price range. Sandboy. Oh. Sandboy. No, I didn't have Sandboy. You know, you go to Queensland and expensive. they still have tomo- Atomic Tomato, but really? they don't have Atomic Tomato in New South Wales. How oh. annoying is that? Yeah. Isn't it because the factory's up there and I guess it's exclusively for that state? I don't know. They they must <laughs> have some sort of... Oh, go get. Go get. Oh. These look disgusting. They're great. Right. Space food sticks. Space food. Oh, like, Nutella. You know, food that's so whatever, but everyone just loved. Oh, uh, do you know? <laughs> it was my space friend food. used to bring space food sticks <laughs> to school, and I used to be like, "Mom, buy me the space food sticks." She never would, and so I'd always try and trade my friend for the space food sticks. I used to have um, is it, what is it um, what's the gorilla on the chocolate pudding thing? Oh, yoga. 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 Yeah, that's yeah. still so good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, still around. The one where you push where pops. you push the the chocolate. Yeah, all oh, the chocolate chips. Oh. Mm. The similar one is I think Shibani. So Shibani. Shibani. Yeah. Yeah, Shibani has that got similar concept. But it's like healthy. Yeah. Not healthy. Chocolate <laughs> no chocolate pudding. <laughs> <Yuck>. <laughs> um, that was like a trip down that's memory very, lane. That's very funny. Yeah, I feel is. like Mammy Noodles now. What do kids have in their lunch boxes now? They have... Um, oh, so up stuff. in the article, if you could see, like it's basically like carrots, something. wraps. I think that's a bit over-exaggerating hipster parents though, right? Yeah, Surely know. they're still lazy people. People don't have wraps. I don't think kids are getting wraps for lunch <laughs> in their lunchbox. Think so? I think they're getting a sandwich. But like, how about this? Like, I used to get a I Vegemite sandwich. Like that was I got that. I got yeah, a I got sandwich. Look at this. Look at this lunchbox. It's got a wrap and it's got some kind of hummus dip <laughs> thing next to it. I think that's tzatziki. Oh my gosh! For the <laughs> not garlic sauce. <laughs> this is not in any kid's lunchbox. This is this is in the lunchbox of some kind of upper management hipster type. <laughs> you, you might get the carrots, but you don't get three different chopped vegetables. Yeah, no. Nah. Really? Look at this mixed berries with buddy. That, whose lunchbox is this? Um. A prince's. A prince's? <laughs> it's someone who's gluten-free. It's not mine. Or probably oh, a vegan. Oh, LCMs. <laughs> Fire out. Those. Oh, the snacks. Do you still have... Uh, you yeah. remember those? Yeah. I still have them. <laughs> oh, do they still sell them? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Kids still have those. Because it's kind of like... It's just like biscuit and cheese. Like, mm. whatever. Yeah, yeah fake you cheese. You calcium. <laughs> okay. Yep. Well, that's... That was interesting. That's like exactly an hour now. So we are good. Perfect. This good? has been Trend Settings episode 108. Chris wasn't here because he's in Melbourne or he's dead. Who knows? Or he's still celebrating the Roosters win. Yeah, Maybe. Yes. He's gone to Melbourne to rub it in. Maybe he had some Mad Monday. Maybe <laughs> not. Probably not, though. What? I have nothing. No, nothing. Don't judge me. This has been episode Trend Settings, episode 108. We're on Spotify now, if you've listened to Spotify. Ooh. Which Spotify, I, I know it sounds like I'm shilling myself now, but Spotify, have you actually looked at the podcast section? No. It's actually really good. Is it? They take the pictures from the episodes and put them on each episode. Whoa. Oh, wow. Most podcast platforms don't do that. Wow. So all these thumbnails that I slave over every episode of every podcast we've ever made actually get shown on the episode. That's awesome. Whereas in iTunes or your typical uh, Cast FM and all Stitcher and all that crap, it's just the text file. They don't actually bring the image in. So they take the feature image from the post that you put the podcast in mm. and put it in Spotify. Isn't that great? 
Am I great off? I it's thought good. iTunes did that. It's no. good shilling. You'd think they would. No, iTunes podcast app is terrible. Yeah. I don't use it. Haven't you been on the forums, terrible. bro? <laughs> it's good. I'm finally Instacast. on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I use anyway, Instacast. that's yeah. it for this week. Can you listen to it on two times? What do you mean? Like the podcast, two times? Probably. Okay. Because that's most, what I do. Most sound apps can do that. Mm. Yeah, apparently we talk too slow for Ev. Yeah, Nick and Ali are so slow. <laughs> So you have to listen to it <laughs> twice no, as fast. No, technically it's because I moved closer to work. So yeah. I have not so much of a commute. So you have half the time. So now it. I just try and listen to everything in 1.5. Well, this wow. week's episode was like half the time because we hated the movie so much we oh, couldn't talk about it. Yet. it. I haven't okay. watched it yet. So. Doesn't oh, that just sound ridiculous? No. Uh, I, like, honestly, they sound the same, just a little bit faster. Like, these guys are just... They talk I, so I'm slow. a 1.5 guy and it, it, just, it just makes it a... L- it doesn't change it as much as you'd think. Is every you get now and then there's a little like chipmunk moment and then that's it. Wow. Anyway, I didn't know this was a thing. This has been Trend Settings oh, episode 108. This is the outro for the third time. <laughs> thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for coming, such listening, such watching. We had two guests this week. Crazy times. We talked a lot of female things. We talked a lot of male things. We talked a lot of everything. We'll see you next week. Make sure you give us a review if you're on an iTunes or a podcast platform. We You can't review on Spotify, so don't worry about that. Mm. Just listen, stream it, love it, live it. Share it. And yeah, we'll see you next week at Facebook on 8 p.m. live streaming. And goodbye.